want to hit a couple of other post-buy topics in this segment known as Callahan On. First up, take a look at this super interaction between defensive lineman Jeffrey Simmons and Tavondre Sweat on the sidelines in the win at Miami. His arm just sitting there though, that's what I'm saying. Right. Did I not tell you that? No, 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 no. I was going to that's what I'm saying. That's what I'm saying. If he's going to just sit there and give you his hands, bag up on the ball and run. Don't work no moves. You don't run your big to him. I'm telling you, then guess what? Now he's going to be like, oh, he booing me. Oh, he, take, he just take, no, he's not working no move. They know you're going to come out the ball and try to swipe their hand. That's why he giving you that. It's always bag up, especially in sync. Let's be real. Bag up and push the Then you start working your I told you what he was going to do. I backed up. I know. But I told you what he's going to do, though. He quit. He quit. But he can't handle power. He, not a, he don't like power. That's good stuff. Brian, when you see a moment like that on your sideline, what sticks out to you? Uh, that's the type of team that we want to be. You know, those are the type of players we want to be around. And I think that's what's great is you get a guy like Jeff who's seen so much football, being able to impart some of that wisdom on, on Tavondre and being a part of his development too. That happens across the, uh, the whole team. That, that's a great interaction to capture, but that's what our whole sideline is like. Uh, most games is guys talking and communicating, um, which are really important parts of having a good football team is that ability to communicate uh, in the moment and knowing what the other guy wants the other guy to do. But it just shows you what Jeff's as a leader and, and a, uh, the, the head of that defensive line in terms of the, the vet presence in there. Uh, he's been fantastic, and that's a really cool snapshot of, of what he brings to our team. Okay, let's take a look at another topic. Last night, Coach Ron Rivera, who's now part of NFL Network, joined Amy Wells and me on Titans Radio. Week five finally saw a big number of big passing numbers around the NFL. We asked Coach Rivera if the offenses have finally caught pass defenses that dominated September. Well, you know, it's interesting because when, when we, we started the season out, I kind of thought there was going to be a resurgence of the running game, partly because if you look at how some of these defenses are built, they're all being built to stop the throwing game. Um, and so you got lighter players out there. You got more DBs on the field. Um, so it was, it was set up to run the football, in my opinion. And we saw that in, in, in the first four games. You're right, though. This week five kind of turned out to be a little bit different. But I also think certain situations necessitated that. And that is when teams were stocking up for the run, now what happened was it opens up the passing game. When you only see those single high DVs back there, you know, single high safeties, checking and they're throwing the ball vertical or they're hitting a seam and next thing you know, it's a big play. Early on, it was in vogue to play some form of cover two, whether it be cover two, quarters, trap, whatever, to stop the passing game so people ran. Now you see things happening in a different fashion. A great example as far as <clears throat> that's concerned is you look at the commanders. You know, what, what, what they're doing with their young quarterback, for the most part, has been brilliant. And what's happened is teams are playing a lot of zone against these guys, and they're trying to keep their eyes on the quarterback. Because of that, the receivers have more cushion. They have more opportunity to get open quickly. Thus, jaden has been, he's been throwing the ball, getting it out of his hands, and his receivers are making plays once they've caught the ball. So now teams start tightening up against them, playing a little bit more man, and what's happened? They're running the ball better, okay? And that quarterback's running the ball much better. Why? Because DBs, they've got their backs turned them. So it's, it's a little bit of give and take. And, and as you go through it, offenses that recognize what the defense is trying to do against them sooner are the ones that are having a lot more success. Ron Rivera from NFL Network. Is he spot on? That's a, that's a man that's seen a lot of football, uh, both as a player and a coach. And, yeah, I think that that sounds about right. It's, it's a cat and mouse game between offenses and defenses um, through the whole early part of the season. Uh, and it still ebbs and flows as the season carries on. And uh, you see teams trying to run the ball more uh, early in the part of the season. And then you see some defenses trying to tighten that down a bit. So, yeah, there's a lot of truth to what he said um, and how the defenses and offenses have ebbed and flowed. Uh, you saw obviously an explosion this week, a little bit more points, a little bit more passing than um, the last handful. So, yeah, pretty astute observations from a man that, that knows football about as good as anybody out there.